space. It sounds very lonely, if you ask me. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. That's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines? Get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I should get going. Good luck on your search. Could try to line up the Vista Point image again. I should be within range. Hey, Zo. I'm near the Grimhorn site. Can you join me? I'll be there soon. Aloy, I'm glad we can do this together. The Grimhorns we're looking for should be just to the north. Let's go get those control cores. Thank you again for helping me. If this works, if we can heal the land gods, it will end a generation of suffering for my people. How do you think Fane and the Chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. I've had my disagreements with them, but I'd like to see they'll be happy to be wrong on this. There. The Grimhorns. And they're not alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your lead. We did it! You okay? A bit winded, but I'll be all right. You've got the control cores? I can take them from here. Two control cores as requested. Thank you. Gaia showed me a way to scan them and take what we need to update the reboot code. I'll head back to base and get started. When I was a child, there was always enough to eat. The land gods provided for us and... Every season, we celebrated them. My happiest memories come from those times. Do you really think we can bring them back? We'll make it happen. Thank you, Aloy. So we'll probably need some time to sort through those cores. I should do something else in the meantime.
Tony Howe. Back again. Now that you have those control cores, are you ready to reboot the Land Gods in Plainsail? Not yet. Gaia told me the reboot code has to be altered using data from the cores. She updated my focus with software to accomplish this task, but apparently it's very complicated. It'll take time. Well, let me know if you need any help. I will. I need to get going. May your search bear fruit. I just think she talks a lot. You would too, if you knew everything there is to know about everything. Aloy, I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clanlands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. This he has did a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. Any progress with your plan for the Land Gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the Land Gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in plain song, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No. We know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Do ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay. Tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Do. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not going to let your people starve, so I promise. Well, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Hephaestus. After that, I'm going to need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Aloy, you're here. Did you meet with the Quen already? Not yet. After all the trouble you went through getting those subfunctions, seems unfair you have to deal with these Quen on your own, too. It's safer this way. They think I'm Sobek or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so, let me know if you need anything before you go. You brought up Rost. Before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now. I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The sacred lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the proving, it hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. 
The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. If I get Omega clearance, and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging Thunderjaws. Better them than us, for once. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zoe coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow. How he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. I'll be in touch if I need anything. We'll be ready. Everyone's been briefed on the pulse generators as well. Good. Let's just say I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holofilms. Like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. Uh, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach, anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I can make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff, in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun! Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. Do I smell... ale? Yeah, I brought some over from Chain Scrape. Hey, with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. Would you want something? Uh, hi. I'm back. What do you want to know? So do you have everything you need to build the rig and pulse generators? Gaia sent me the schematics. The designs are... modest, without the capabilities of Hephaestus, but... they should work. Not that it matters without Omega clearance. I'll find it. 
Just try to have the transport ready by the time I get back. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? Zo told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Zenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zo, I was able to recover. What else can you tell me about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe, the Nora, and the proving ritual you did. I told him if I was born into the tribe, I'd never be able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora, then. It's time for me to go. I'll check on you later. Yeah, sure. I think I was here a while ago. She told me about her plan. Let's take a look. I just need to get rid of these blinds. Headwind carcass. It must have dropped the flowers and then crashed. One down, two to go. Zo, you there? I'm here, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for warmth, listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. All right then. I'll head to plain song and deliver the code to the land gods there. Two dead Utaru. And a land god shrine. So said this one broke down amidst a herd of machines. I better be careful.
I guess they were leaving offerings to the land god. That looks like something... ...fried them. Whatever did it might still be around. There's the land god. But I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code. Machines resistant to shock. Stash when I need it. I should install this code on that land god. Let's try this again. Nice and easy. Another land god dealt with. Hey, Zo. Aloy, how goes it? I found T and installed the reboot code. Fitting then that I feel thankful. T's festival came in winter when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude, and all the children would receive gifts. The best was my first bow, made of you, strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. There's one more thing. I found two of your people. A stormbird got them, but I took it down. Oh. I'll make sure someone retrieves their seed pouches, so they may return to the land. How are things on your end? Getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done with the last one. There. One of the land god shrines. So said this one sank in a nearby lake. God must be down there somewhere. Time for a swim. land god. Zo, can you hear me? I can hear you, Aloy. Had to swim a bit, but I gave the reboot code to So. Ah, good. We used to celebrate So in the fall, at the beginning of the harvest, with wine made from elderflowers. When I was twelve, I got tipsy on it and kissed a boy in the sage garden. How'd that go? He was so surprised he nearly fell into the mulch. It would be good to see So again. Plowing the fields in the afternoon sun. When you can, meet me at Plainsong and we'll send out the reboot signal. I've delivered the code to all the land gods, save one. Only La is left. I'm here with her. 
Just east of the main village. Okay. I'll get there as soon as I can. Aloy, it's Kutala. I've heard that the red scum clogging up the rivers has cleared in much of the Holland clan's territory. But for some reason, the water around their capital, Thornmarsh, remains polluted. Perhaps this is something you could help with. Yeah. Aloy, you made it. I'll look into it when I can. All of the land gods have been updated. Now to send out the reboot signal. told me this would happen. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. So, the chorus wants a word. Of course they do. Do you want me to come? No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later. And I'll tell you how it went. Good luck. Uh -oh. 